everybody. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. Welcome to the Smiling Tabby. Today I'm going to show you one of my um, Stickopotamus sticker sheet albums or binders rather. I have three of them and we're just going to go through them, um, you know, one at a time and bear with me. I've got some more information here I wanted to share with you in a minute. So what I did is I categorized each of my binders. Um, this one is Holiday Seasons, Occasions, Jobs, and Miscellaneous. I also put that on the spine so when it's in my bookshelf, you can see it easily. So Stickopotamus was a company popular in probably the 90s, early 2000s. Um, I think over the years, um, they no longer make them, but I think over the years, the company or a portion of the company got bought out by... I think a company called EK Success, and then they may have branched out and did a line uh, similar to these called Sticko, and I think they were bought out by yet another company. So the binders are um, not around anymore, so if you find them in eBay or a thrift shop, Goodwill, whatever, grab them. They used to have a, um, a sticker club, too, for like $12, you'd get a free binder with a bunch of sheets and um a membership card and so let's get into it and i'll chat some more as we go into it so um my first section is holidays and seasons so i have put each of my sheets in here and um, i tried to use the packaging that came with each sheet to serve as a page protector a lot of these sheets are on a clear background so in that case i put a piece of white or lined paper underneath it so it's a nice nicer visually um, so I typically, um, got most of these by, um, buying them on eBay or Facebook marketplace or from other, uh, sticker collectors on some of my Facebook sticker groups. I used to have a stickopotamus binder and I don't know what happened to it. And I didn't have as many sheets back then as I do now. Um, so I, I've searched my house high and low. I still don't know where it went. So I might have donated it to my son's, you know, daycare when he was little or gave it to like a local school for crafting or scrapbooking clubs. So um, I've been trying to source them. Um, I haven't bought any in a, in a while. So, oops, sorry, they kind of stick. So um, I've tried to categorize it like hearts relating to Valentine's Day I'm kind of going to go through these pretty quickly. Um, let me switch my hands here. So yeah, they're fun. And each sheet has individual stickers on them. Um, they were very popular in scrapbooking. Um, that's when I first started getting into them. Uh, back when I was into scrapbooking. And honestly, I did more sticker buying and collecting than scrapbooking. So, um, oh, this, this page needs a, a plain white sheet underneath it. But I'll have to go back and do that. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to share one of my binders at a time. Now we're moving into St. Patrick's Day and Easter. Some of these are iridescent. Um, and I did some research and from what I can gather, um, there were about 426 stickopotamus sheets, give or take. That's what I was able to find. Uh, online and what I like to do with stickopotamus and also uh, another brand that I love called toots by card design is I keep a um, <clears throat> an Excel spreadsheet listing um, the item numbers in the description and then I would jot down in the spreadsheet the price I paid if I had them um, just as to serve as a reference so I did do this with my stickopotamus ones and I have about 121 sheets and I did some math, and I paid about $1.37 a sheet on average. Some a little more, some a little less, but it just gives you an idea. Like, you know, I try not to, if I'm gonna buy some more, you know, keep it around that price point. Um, again, these are not super old. You know, they're not from the 80s, but they are really fun. So I know I've mentioned before in my other videos, um, if you're looking to source stickers, some great places that I've found them are Goodwill, Savers, 
your local mom and pop thrift shops have them, may have them. Uh, when you go to these thrift shops, check the stationery area. Check the children's area near toys and crafts. Check out the regular craft area if they have one in your thrift shop. Um, also, I know with Savers and Goodwill, they, they have these like grab bags. Um, they're like little poly, you know, plastic bags that they lot things into and make like a little grouping. So sometimes you can find them there. So um, always be checking. Um, I always check um, Facebook Marketplace too. This is, now we're getting into the miscellaneous. Facebook Marketplace, um, oops. Craigslist. Um, I haven't found any on Craigslist. I know I've mentioned that before, but maybe one day I'll have a something exciting to share with you that I found on Craigslist. Uh, Facebook um, sticker collecting groups, um, we do a lot on those um, if you're looking for a certain brand, a certain sticker, you can post it there and see if anybody else has it and if they're willing to sell it to you. So these are just miscellaneous sheets that didn't really fall into any other category. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to race through these for you so you're not totally bored. But um, yeah. I don't believe any of these, you know, stickopotamus. See, this this is a brand that says Sticko. So I think these are newer. Um, I don't think they made any scratch and sniff ones. Although this would be fun if it was scratch and sniff. Um, yeah, we're nearing the end. Most of my sheets are complete in this binder. This one may be missing a few. Um... And when I share other binders, there are a couple pages that are incomplete. These are kind of like pearly, opalescent hearts. Same with the stars. See, this is the, sh the, the top packaging that came with it. So I just use it as a page protector. And finally, stars. So that's it for sharing my first Stickopotamus binder with you all. Hope you loved it. Um... I'm new still to YouTube, so subscribe. I want to post some more videos. Um, and I just want to say thank you for watching and thanks for sticking with me. Bye.